Hello everyone, my name is Cal Sounds, and I want to show you some 808 presets that I've been working on inside of Serum. Um, so this is the first one, and, oh wait no, this is actually the second one. This is the first one. This is the second one. I had to put them in a rack because I kind of wanted them side by side. Kind of looks cool, I guess. And, um, but yeah, this is the first one, this is the second one. Uh, so. I'll start off by showing you the first 808 preset, um, and this is what it sounds like. Oh, uh, actually, let me. That's uh, without any effects like distortion or uh, without a filter on it. Uh, duration is just how long it lasts before it's silenced. And then I have a filter, which you can just. Uh, it's just low in, no high is going on, except when you distort. Okay, maybe not, actually. Yeah. It's a bit thicker, though. Uh, but yeah. This is just the transient, and then this is the body. I used a remap, uh, which was pretty cool, and I got this sound. Um, so this is the 808 with distortion. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now with the second CalSound Serum 808, uh, there's a little bit more going on. And, um, oh, let me turn that off. Um, so I have four macros. I have a shape, a rate, a crush, and a hollow. Um, and I'll kind of explain what these do. Uh, but for this 808 preset, I kind of wanted to have some different shapes inside of the wavetable. So what I did was I grabbed a rift, uh, the unipolar distortion unit, which is really cool. You can get some really hard hitting sounds with this. Uh, I use it on drums, basses, uh, or just any. Anything when I'm sound designing, it really crushes the sound. It gives it a nice, nice sound. Um, but yeah, so I used a rift, and what I did was I just ran a sine wave through it, and I pretty much just used different shapes and exported those shapes, combined them, and then edited them inside of the Serum editor, and that's how I got these different shapes. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wait, there is there is eleven. There's eleven. I remember exporting eleven. I just skipped through one. But yeah, there is a total of eleven shapes. You get some different sounding 808s, uh, which is really cool. Uh, rate is just the duration of the 808, and then you got crush, which is a distortion. I did something a little different with crush though uh, which I'll show you in a minute here and then hollow is just a add bass filter um, it's just boost boosting those those lows there which makes it sound pretty hollow and if you add crush to it, it the effects even more apparent sounds like um, some breakbeat kind of bass noise It's kind of funny because shape 11 sounds like that without the without the filter on. I will say though, uh, when you use crush, it will turn up the volume quite a bit. So I would suggest turning down the master volume when using crush um, because it gets pretty loud. So now I kind of want to show you what I did when I. Uh, added distortion here. Um, so what I did was use Serum's distortion unit. Uh, I used tube distortion and I did something kind of different here. I boosted the lows quite a lot but then that's why I added the compressor after it so I can kind of smash the sound and uh, bring it all together. But it's pretty nice. I did this because I really wanted the sound to be very like warm and, and kind of like hard hitting uh, and so that's why I decided to use the uh, Serum's compressor instead of OTT. I felt like it was just more appropriate. Um, and then for, I think, the EQ, it looks like I boosted the lows a little tiny bit. Not really too much. And then finally for 
for this effect I added a filter a low pass filter and as you can see the the shape of the filter it has like a little delay going on in LFO 6 here and uh, it adds this little like flurry kind of sound I like to call it and it's pretty much just uh, a delay of the low pass filter let me get a different shape actually So this is what it sounds like without the filter. And then this is what it sounds like with the filter. Uh, of course there's a big difference because I added drive so it's it's a thicker sound. Um, but yeah, this is uh, these are my presets. The link for these presets will be in the description. Um, so if you're interested, uh, go ahead and check those out. Adios and peace.